my name is Diana Flickcroft. I work for the National Crime Agency in their National Cybercrime Unit. So the NCCU, the National Cybercrime Unit, um, is responsible for leading the UK's fight against serious and organised cybercrime. And my role within the NCCU is um, I work in the strategic partnerships team. And what that means is uh, we work with industry and academia to um, bring them into our operational activity to share intelligence and work collaboratively in that fight against serious and organised cybercrime. The National Cybercrime Unit, there's a huge variety of roles, so you don't necessarily have to come from a technical background. Uh, we of course need people with technical skills um, and we have forensic opportunities and, and technical opportunities. Um, but we also, because of our um, collaborative um, nature of the combat against cybercrime, we work internationally with international law enforcement. Uh, we also work with private industry, with universities, uh, with other government departments. So there's lots of opportunities if you have languages, if you um, have really great team working and interpersonal skills. If you are interested in the more human side, we have a um, prevent team and what they look at is how to prevent people from going down the route of becoming a cyber criminal. So they're looking at the cyber crime, the cyber criminal pathway, career pathway, and they're looking at opportunities to um, reach out to those people who might be thinking about going down a criminal pathway and trying to figure out how do we steer them onto the right path. It might be a child who's playing on computer games, for example, um, they are very competitive, they're playing with people from um, around the world and if they feel that they're losing they might decide to boot their competitor off the game. Um, and that is essentially a, a denial of service attack. Um, and they might not understand that that is, in fact, um, a, a crime. So and from that they may go on forums to find out how can they um, say they're doing an online exam. How do we get out of it? And they might pick up tips from forums about how to DDoS their school. Um, and then just from there, they, they grow their knowledge and experience and may just end up on that cyber criminal pathway. So what we like to do is find out what are those sort of gateways into the um, cybercrime world and what can we do to make sure that they're aware that what they're doing is a crime and bring them back into um, to use their skills in a more um, fruitful way that, that can benefit the UK and benefit law enforcement. A day like today is hugely important to organisations like the NCA. Um, the UK as a whole has a cyber skills shortage, so events like this will enable students, pupils to find out a little bit more about cyber security as a potential career. Um, they may think, they may, may self-exclude from this sort of career thinking you need to be really great at um, um, programming and technology, that isn't always the case, there's lots of opportunities available. So events like this gives the NCA an opportunity to talk to um, these young people and let them know the range of things that are available for them and hopefully inspire them to take this up as a, as a career choice. So there's clearly a lot of talent in this room. I've spoken to some pupils who this is already an area of interest for them and they're doing some computer related courses but for others they may not have considered this at all and I think coming to an event like this they're starting to find out how much it really does impact on their everyday life and there are, are things, tools that they're using every day that have a cyber security element to them so hopefully they will feel inspired to pursue a career in, in cyber security as a result of today. We are at the coalface um, and of course we see it as a prevalent and increasing threat as more and more um, activity is placed online. We're now facing the internet of things so you'll find much more, um, far more uh, internet enabled devices in the home and that is fantastic and we would always encourage that innovation but it also gives greater opportunities for cyber criminals to perpetrate their um, cyber crime. So um, it is prevalent, it is growing but we don't want to frighten people as long as you take um, good basic cyber security steps you can protect yourself from cyber crime. There's a lot that people can do, very basic steps and the government has a wealth of information um, that will guide the public and businesses in how they can protect themselves. But there are some very simple things, so um, using a relatively complex password, um, 
making sure you have a different password for different um, sites. Um, having antivirus, that really is key. Everyone should take up antivirus software. Um, you can write your passwords down and keep them um, in your home. That's, we would advocate that as a, a way of making sure you don't forget your passwords. So I think unless you've be, been a victim yourself, you probably aren't aware of cybercrime or cyber security. I think people are going to become more and more aware and certainly the media is taking a bigger interest than they have done previously. Um, but again, just to reassure um, the public, there is so much available, so much information available. Um, so they can go to places like Get Safe Online, Cyber Streetwise. These are government um, funded websites that have had input from the experts in industry um, and they should go to those websites to find out what they can do to protect themselves. I, it, I really do feel it very deeply that I want to um, enable the public to operate safely online. Um, I work with some really amazingly talented individuals and we all work very collaboratively. So there's a real feel of teamwork, collaboration, um, innovation. So we've got a lot of technical expertise in our organisation which makes it a very creative place to work. And I have to say when I um, collaborate and speak with my colleagues I'm always in awe of the talent that we have and the work that we do. So if people were interested in a career with um, the NCCU, uh, we've got some internships, now they're aimed at people who are in their second year of university or who have fin recently finished a university course. We also have apprenticeships, um, they'll be coming out in May, so if you look at our um, Twitter feed or our Facebook or our website, you'll find information about that, but they're aimed at 18-year-olds um, and you just require five GCSEs, um, so it's worth people keeping an eye out for those opportunities.